Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Papa Bale, and welcome to the channel. I'm just uh, I was fixing a toroid magnet to the base because I have a feeling we're going to need to do that. Might even need to use some glue with this one. Alright, so. Okay, so what do we do? I'll wait for that to heat up. Gotta wait. Mm. Well, I could explain it a little bit. We're gonna do 180 degrees. We're gonna do one here and one here. We're gonna throw it on the pole. We're gonna see how fast we can get it going. Because I heard that the fewer magnets, the better, or the faster. Uh, we're going to see if that applies today. All right. I think this is a great design, too. It's a six magnet design uh, for square, large square magnets. Yet, the outside you can see is just this little round part right there. I think it's pretty cool and deceptive. Yeah. I wonder, I really do, I wonder if, but I don't know if they'll stay in there because they're not encapsulated like the one over there. Because uh, if I put it on there and then I let it go and then they fall away. Yeah, they do their magnet thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like a little round thing that could press the magnets in there. Oh, I see what, like, uh. Yeah. I mean, the toroids themselves look like a pretty good sized thing. Oh, that's almost perfect. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to put it in there and we're going to get it out. But I think that's what I'm going to use. Wow. We'll get it out. <laughs> we'll get it out. <laughs> yeah, that'll hold them in there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wow. And I have more rolls like that. Okay. Like a whole stack of them. That's, that's neat. That's really neat. Can you, can you just turn it upside down? Nope. Maybe. Yeah, I wasn't holding it. Oh, okay. Alright, that should be a firm firm hold especially if there's magnetism at play yeah so I don't need to wait for the glue gun anymore do I I don't think so so what I'm going to do is I am going to tracks so this is the side bottom blam I'm 
I'm gonna see if I can get another roll just to put in there for good measure. It's like you take off five rope, five turns, it, it'll fit. <laughs> yeah, really, you know? It's really close. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think we're good. Um, let me see if I have another roll of tape somewhere. It might work. and moldable. Nice. Oh yeah. That's nice and tight, man. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> We gotta see if it if it'll stay afloat like this. <laughs> oh wow! It looks like we don't need another toroid magnet. Wow, dude, that looks smooth. Nice design. All right, let's move our coils. So what? Dang. What we want to have is, oh brother me, uh, we want this to be right here. What's up everybody, we're back <laughs> and look at it man, it's moving, we got a roll of tape in there holding everything together, and it's, it's going. It's not going that fast. Um, we had to have the trigger, because there's only two magnets in there, we had to have the trigger inside the coil, drive coil. So that's what we're doing. Kind of sucks, but it's all right. It makes a good squeaky noise, I like that, but I mean, look at it. We got so much power in and we're not really getting that much out of it. It's like it hurt me and it slowed down even more. Mm -hmm. And it's going down. 
It's supposed to go up when it slows down, right? Just odd, you know? Thank you very much. Peace out. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye now.